Hello everyone, welcome back to BTNX Learning. Today, let's see how we can handle uh, missing values in a data set that has categorical data. Okay, categorical means it should be non-numeric. Okay, we have Excel sheet and uh, there are some missing values. Okay, but all are categorical. So we have seen earlier, there is a way called mean and uh, median. So this way will be of mode. Okay, so we will be using ChatGPT as how this ChatGPT is helping us to find the missing values in uh, mode method. Okay, guys, so let's go over here. Nine rupees. Nine rupees cannot even buy you a packet of chips. But what if I tell you nine rupees can save your job? What if I tell you nine rupees can get you salary hike? What if I tell you nine rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? So this will be the chat GPT. Okay, I have attached the sheet and uh, this, will, this will be the sheet. Just hold on. Okay, this is, will be the input sheet, which so you can see there is late. Okay, the favorite coffee is here. Late is there that has been repeated four times. Okay, and we have espresso, we have Americano, and these are the uh, missing values. Okay, these are the empty. So let's see how we this chat GPT is giving us the solution. Okay, with the help of Python code. Okay, so here I will be drafting the uh, code actually. Okay, so we will see. data attached above give python code to find the missing values with frequency means we should know how many times it has come okay with frequency and explain the method yeah in the code okay so let's it's analyzing okay by the meantime guys one important update okay so as you all aware that AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by AI and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave so AI won't replace you but the person using AI will replace your job so if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our three hours AI tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill increase your productivity and enhance your career okay and all the installation steps and other AI tools will be explained detail in our btnx program make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description okay so if you go over here uh, btnx this will be the site okay so here you can see all the upcoming uh, AI tools workshop office using so you can be here you can go here and you can register it Okay. So you can see when will be the next uh, workshop and you can see the testimonials and why to join this course. So don't miss, miss this opportunity, guys. Okay. So let's go to the code. Okay. So the data set contains two columns, serial number and a favorite coffee. Okay. Uh, that is correct. Okay. Serial number and favorite coffee. And uh, okay. And it seems to contain missing values and possibly some inconsistent entries like uh, Americano might indicate leading to white spaces characters. Okay. And uh, to find the missing values and the frequency in the favorite uh, coffee column, I'll use the following method. Uh, identification of missing methods, it has given this way and counting the missing values, okay? And handling the inconsistencies, okay? So it has given over here. And uh, as I asked the frequency, it has given, it is, there are four occurrences, missing values also four occurrences. Espresso one occurrence, Americano one occurrence, Cappuccino one occurrence. Okay. So this analysis indicates that the late is the most common favorite. Okay. Because mode means that is the Vegas. Okay. Like uh, which one is repeated more that will be taken. Or if the uh, frequency is high, it will be taken that as the value for the missing values. If it is mode. Okay. So as there are four missing values in the data set, which also makes missing a insignificant category. Okay. So these are the information it has given. Let's ask the code. Okay. Give the Python code for the above. Okay, let's see. So it is a reading. So this will be the Python code for us. So I am copying the code. Okay, and this is the Google Colab. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm pasting here. It is done through import pandas. Okay, and I need to give the path. Okay, this will be the path. 
for every people it will depends okay it depends on the where you have stored your uh, this data i have stored over here that is here okay so So this will be the file okay mm -hmm. okay so remove any leading trailing white spaces okay so imagine guys this also it is taking care okay what we will think okay there are no trailing spaces like that because in front of e and in front of a there are some uh what to say some white spaces right i mistakenly gave the uh, part so it is handling that also so let me close it okay and uh, like uh, favorite and it is doing this in this function count the frequency of each unique value, okay? And print the value counts, okay? So like, let me, okay? So late means it has come four, okay? NAN is missing the, what to say, the uh, the missed values are four, espresso one. So already in the chat GPT, it has given, okay, that uh, uh, missing values, okay, the favorite coffee column to find, okay, on here you can see late occurrences four times okay so the this indicates that late is the most common favorite among the respondents and there are four missing values which also makes missing okay so this late will be substituted oh, that's what is like for further analysis or handling this missing values consider several strategies filling them with the most frequent values okay so late in this case using a placeholder so this late will be added over there if you want we can uh, fine-tune our chat gpt such that give me a code such that the it should be written in a new file it can do okay that you can do like a homework actually because in my earlier sessions also i have given okay same you need to give the prompt uh, write the output in a separate file if you do like that the final file will have the four values in the uh in these places in wherever the empty places are there you will get l-a-t-t -E means because it has come four times okay so and you can ask what is for getting further updates what is more method in data analysis let's see in data analysis the mode is a statistical measure that represents the most likely occurring value in a data set it is a type of central tendency like like mean and median okay so the mode is particularly useful in analyzing categorical data with the discrete values okay so these are the parts it has given okay applicability advantages and the limitations using in message missing value imputation okay so you too can fine tune okay because it has given like three methods right you can fine tune which are the method can be used when okay and when you can when you are doing that exercise you can i have given over only one repeated value right you can use some other value that also you can make four times so there are four repetition in one name and another four repetition in another name so which one the uh, uh, data analysis part should take so which one should we consider for data analysis so you can raise that uh, question so that you will come to know much about data analysis okay so i'm giving to you like a homework you can uh, check it and you can update on the comments okay so i hope you enjoyed this session thanks for watching see you again take care bye, -bye.